going to go over the different components on the uh, Stoker feeder assembly. Okay, here we have, uh, it's a, a primary motor, is what we consider it as on the Stoker unit. Um, it is a 1725 oil burner motor, but it is reversed. Um, so if you do go to purchase one, it's a 1 6th horsepower, 1725. You must reverse the rotation unless if you purchase from the dealer you got the boiler from. Um, we do it here at the factory and send it to the dealer. So no need to mess with anything. You just put on and wire back up and good to go. Um, and what this unit does here, this motor, is it's going to drive your gear motor, which if you come over here, you'll see the gear motor drives the drive arm to feed the coal. Um, and the other thing it does is it also blows the air underneath the grates. Um, if you notice here, it says remove screw and discard before using. We use this screw to seal the top of the gear motor because there is gear oil inside there. Um, and this stops it from leaking out during shipment. Um, the primary motor drives the gears inside here and in return spins the um, fitting here to the unit and we'll move this guy back and forth to feed the coal. This is your uh, coal feed adjustment. Um, typically settings are about 10 to 12 turns out from all the way max. Um, that's pretty much Normal settings is what I ever found that we would have to be. Um, sometimes you have to move them up, you know, depending on how well the coal is burning. Well, let me ask you something. When you say 10 to 12 turns, in other words, you would back Ti this you would off? You would tighten that all the way. Okay. And then 12 rotations out. So you're on, backing it off 12 rotations yes, from, uh, from being uh, tight against the uh, right the arm there. Yep. And I always, how I always usually do is I'll tell them rule of thumb. When you can get your thumb in there, it puts you in a ballpark of range of where you need to be for coal feed wise. And what that does, that determines how much stroke or how much coal is pushed on every stroke. Correct. Um, and so obviously these units can uh, probably feed more coal than what the unit's capable of burning. Exactly. And how you can determine that is just open your fire door when it's burning and look in and see how much fire you have and if you have fire clear down to the edge of the burner then you got that red knob turned up too high and you're feeding it too much coal and then you need to make an adjustment remember when you have fire completely over all your air holes you're maxed out so there's no sense in turning the stroke up any higher and, and pushing good coals or uh, coal over the end of the burner 